What's going on guys? Jurassic Guest here. Today we are checking out The Wolf Among Us. So it looks like it's starting us off a little bit where we were. We don't need to inspect the car since we already know that nothing comes about from it. Last episode. Of course we gotta sit there and break the door down. At least our arm's still staying attached to us. Guess we went ahead and threw away the band-aids too. I don't remember us losing our bandages. Shepherd Metalworks. Well, this place looks a little undown. So this is where they've been sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. Eh, that's probably true. Why did that light turn on? That's kind of creepy. I don't know why the light turned on. I guess it was motion sensors. Big B wolf. Hello. The big bad wolf. <laughs> Who's that, Mary? Looks like we can look at the pictures or we can examine the wheel. So I guess they've been tracking us for a while. Snow even the target or was the main target us? So it looks like most of them have to do with people who interacted with us in the beginning. Is that the girl that died in the very beginning of the game? They recognize these two. Might be. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Yep, yeah, it's a wheel. Looks like they chained somebody up to it though. It's kinda weird. Alright, so now we're going to walk over here. Kind of weird playing with this camera view because you can't really see where you're supposed to be walking towards. To some of the angles, you're just sort of guessing where you should be standing. Silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. It's about time you showed up. <laughs> I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. Get <laughs> the cramp out, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm talking to you! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through <laughs> town? Are we gonna have to punch her? This is just sad. <laughs> it appears so. Wait, how'd she vanish? There's no mirrors or anything. Alright, so we can go to the one below or the one up top. I feel like the one up top is probably where she's at. And at least we'll have a better advantage point. Go on, Big B. Use your super hearing. What are you doing? Oh, we're actually controlling it? up here if she is down below we at least should be able to jump on top of her if she's not looking on top i hit the button
It says Bloody Mary able to fly. I don't remember that in the folklore. Okay, that one I missed. I think I got the two on the A's though. I'm not sure. Ooh, we get to see the real one. I like that design. That looks pretty cool. It's kind of painful. Every time you step, you hear glass all over the time. She has bullets, but no guns, so we should be fine. Seems like every time we attack her, she's the one who's able to do the damage. That didn't look good. Are we about to start in a huge giant pit of molten? Did we get her? I'm going to go with no. So it looks like the real version of her is the only one with eyeballs. All the other ones don't have eyes, it looks like. Yeah, so it'd be you. Maybe we have to kill them all? I was thinking if we killed one that they would all disappear. What else you got for me? Come on, Bigby. We got this. We seem to be doing decent, I think. We don't really have a health bar, so I don't know. Everybody's looking bloody, but they already naturally look bloody. Maybe we're losing. This is time to wolf out and use whatever powers you've got that we don't know yet. Uh, or turn to a giant wolf? Okay. Dinner time. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that they would have a third form. I guess this is his true big bad wolf form. That one was more like a werewolf. I'm about to roar? Puff and puff and blow the metal factory down. Pretty clever. All but one. Where are you going now, Mary? got her. Maybe you need to like step on her just in case. But it appears all of our limbs and wounds are healed. Yeah, put your clothes on.
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Don't be so sure. You're dealing with me now. That's the plan. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? Why would you want that? You won't be alive. The whole town will Tell be me now. For your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's fine. Then you should put the gun down. Pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to... Then what are you? I believe Georgie. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Yeah, I feel like bringing him in is probably the best bet, even though he's going to talk himself out of it. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned... It's about faith, it's about justice, it's about Fable Town. Look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie's already dead. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Okay, let's go. You're not going anywhere. Alright, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it. If you don't mind. I mind. Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. Oh, her eyes changed back. A trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. William's just going to make a Marty of it. People are just going to sit there and idolize him and become the new crooked man. But it's not really worth killing him. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. I'm fine. Don't I look okay? He didn't make it easy. At the crooked man's place. No, well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's I wolfed out. Hey, Mary. We'll talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. 
Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting you for? You for murderer. Yourself. My you wife killed Lily she was my sister. Where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? Said, You're a fucking sir, crook. Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie- He gave the order, Georgian's taken care of. You, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. I already took care of Georgie, so drop it. What do you it. mean you took care of him? Is he still out there? He wasn't behind it, don't worry, I killed him. Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. It's a long story. The culprit has been punished. There's no that doesn't need change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charge. Better finish. Fine, go ahead. How about I kill you instead? I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale. And resisting arrest and being a consenting prick. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell, you didn't. Stop the You're responsible. The rest is enough. Let him speak. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it, we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is. Don't take the cuffs off. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, geez. Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. That's not what Georgie said. You're full of it. You covered it up. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was attacked. I wouldn't call that help. It was a trap. I think it was both of these. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me. As I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. You better have a point. They didn't want to protect you. I think you're done. Yeah, 
right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anybody. That was Crane. Don't turn this on us. Abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow isn't to blame. Snow made a mistake. Don't try to manipulate us. Snow? Don't blame Snow. She had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't We're trying to protect you. We'll do better. No one can. We didn't get you into this but mess. I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. He and took he Faith and Lily from us. He never cared about any of you. We're ending that. Fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Well, it looks like we have a winner. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? You can't talk your way out of this. What about your history? So, are we done? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you! For profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Where of are you course. going with this? Yes, you're responsible. Just shut up. 
Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle Dee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Bluebeard did that. Snow wasn't involved. You can't You're the one on trial. That was, different. that was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. That's not we'll true. Everyone that. shut up. Calm you. down, Listen, please. Everyone calm down. Where's Nerissa? level of privilege should be afforded to her. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be Bigby? The... Miss White! There she is. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle. Go ahead. She has something to say. You don't need to do this. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid. Oh, her spell's broken now. Just shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <sighs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly... Vivian killed herself. He might as well have. She wanted you all freed. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um... I don't think Nerissa! I know my name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because this of you! This confirms it. We know what happened, and he's going to pay for it. Me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What? You take two people's lives. What do you expect? Away and now you want I could just rip you apart. No, You're done talking. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him, lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. 
We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't get it. So we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Snow should decide. I'm making the call. We should vote. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. That's a good question. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off, throw him down the will, lock him up. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. What? We still have plenty of time. Now you're gonna die. There you are. I hope you all... Remember this moment. Think of me. Rip his head off, lock him up, throw him down the well. Please, we can still- End it already. I feel like he wants to die. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. I feel like that's going to be a very unpopular opinion. But his death wouldn't really have changed anything. So he wanted to die, so it's more punishment if you let him live. I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, great. Oh, that's right. So there's kicking everybody out who doesn't use glamour. They seem fairly pleased with our decision. Uh, uh, Mr. Wolf, flycatcher left his keys. Mr. Wolf. Everything okay? Can we talk? Uh, thanks. Can we talk? I wanted to. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. What are the keys to? We just saw the flycatcher. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. I'm super confused at what actually is happening right now. I'm going! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. 
It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Morning. Fucking day. How are you doing? Don't be so dramatic. Sorry about all this. I tried to help. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could... Sure. What is it? She was nice. I'm busy. Sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. That's nice. <laughs> That's a weird gift. She'll love it. Pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. I'm sorry. We You'll be safer there. Your dad me. broke the rules. I'm sorry, TJ. But, uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <coughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Must be missing. How should I know? He gets to stay. I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> hey, I technically fight it for you to stay here, so that's on you. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to- You need to let it go? I understand. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I- I came here because- I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet. What did you do? Just tell me. It's okay. Silence someone who had physical evidence. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You sold out your friends. Georgie didn't do mercy. You're trying to protect them. I tried to click an option. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. Touch her arm, tell me more, give her a cigarette. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, 
Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the What's whole done is done. You should have lied. It was for the best. I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over a piece of fabric and so I, I would notice why. Was hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Sorry you had to do that. That won't happen anymore. That's not true. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. Snow doesn't need me. I don't know where we stand. No one's ever happy. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different huh things are always different look big b after everything you've done for us maybe they don't want to admit it but without you none of this would have happened you listened when no one else would you knew when to show mercy and you brought justice to this town finally because you brought the crooked man in Everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I you made a lot of mistakes. None of it matters in the end. I hope I've done some good. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her, let her go. I'll see you around, Wolf. What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.8% of players killed Georgie. Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. How did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 47.4% of players chose to imprison the Crooked Man. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 98.5% of players decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. What were your last words to Narissa? You and 54.8% of players said, I've hoped I've done some good. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.